Welcome to Northern Ants. Uh, this is a yellow jacket colony. I was closing my garage door earlier and this little girl was looking out at me and I figured I would get some video before I need to remove this nest because where it's located once they start getting workers it's not going to be in a spot where I want it to be. This colony is unusual. For one, as you can see, this yellow jacket colony has a white and black queen, which you will see later in the video. There's actually a yellow and black queen that lives in the same colony. I noticed these kind of yellow jackets probably around uh, 36 years ago, I think it was. I, th I think it was probably about 10 or 11 uh, when I found them. and I found a couple nests. There was probably like three or four of them I seen in one year and they always had a white and black queen and a yellow and black queen in the same colony. I'm not really sure the reasoning why. I never really figured it out. Uh, but it's kind of cool to, to see the fact that they cooperate uh, with each other. I don't know if it's because it's such a short season here in Wisconsin that they need the two to uh, get the colony going quick enough to to make a new generation. I'm not really sure. If uh, anybody, if you in the comments, let me know if you've ever come across this in a nest. Uh, if you've studied wasps or anything at any point. <laughs> with the colonies with the white and black and yellow and black queens is it seems that the yellow and black queen is the one that always leaves as you can see she's heading out to to gather food gather uh, paper to build onto the nest I'm really not sure I think it almost seems like the black and white queen is strictly there as she's in there right now I think she's feeding some of the larva but she tends to stay at the nest I've never actually seen them flying off. It seems like they're always in the colony. She stays in there, I think, maybe to make sure the nest is protected. As you can see, I just put on the light and it kind of made her take notice. It's some different kind of behavior. 
um, she's like she's going around the nest checking, making th sure things are okay, because things kind of changed, as you'll see in a moment here. Uh, she acts like she's trying to block the light from the nest, because it's kind of unusual for him. She actually will come, and you'll see her. Uh, she's, you know, fanning her wings, and she'll stand over the entrance. It's almost like she's blocking the light, trying to. Uh, stop it from maybe disturbing the larva. seem to agitate her a little bit. She's kind of circling and kind of just like she's confused with that different light on the nest. After a little while it seems like she starts to get used to it a little more. So as you can see she heads inside probably to take care of some more of the larvae. You can see them up inside the nest. They're, they're wriggling around, you'll see them scraping on the sides of their their cells. A lot of times that means that they're they're hungry. As you that one just I think she just fed that one. Uh, they'll scrape on the sides of their their cells with their jaws and that'll kinda give them an indicator that they are hungry and need to be fed. She did seem to kind of take in the light as a little normal. I think that might be, I fell off my ladder. <laughs> or no, that was me changing. I did fall off my ladder though as I was filming. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, well thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Well thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.